going to start by putting on a bit of foundation and this is the L'Oreal True Match foundation in N1 Ivory. This is the more yellow toned fair shade, there is a pinkier toned one. And this is quite a medium coverage foundation, you can layer it up but I'm just going to put one layer of this on and it should do me fine. Then I'm going to cover up my imperfections with a bit of Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in Fair and I'm just going to use the applicator to dab this on anywhere that I have a blemish, which I have quite a few of. And I'm going to blend that out with the Expert Face Brush, same brush I use to do my foundation, just blends out the concealer nicely. And then I'm going to use the Naked 2 palette by Urban Decay and Suspect, which is a gorgeous sheer silver, slightly gold toned shade, it's quite hard to explain but it's really nice all over the lid. And I'm going to use a domed shadow brush for this by Real Techniques obviously, absolutely love Real Techniques. And I'm going to blend this out with a MAC 217, blendy blendy. Next I'm going to take a small angled brush, this is a MAC 266 and I'm going to take Blackout by Urban Decay and just push this into the top lash line. Not flicking it out or anything, just pushing it into the natural lash line. Again on the other side, pushing and then I'm going to take a MAC pencil brush and just blend that out very slightly just so it's nice and soft and not too harsh. Then I'm going to do the same again on the bottom, only I'm going to skip the whole blending part because I don't want to blend this out, I just want like a nice soft line. And then I'm going to use the Rimmel Scandalized Coal Kajal Allen in black and I'm just going to line my waterline. Liney liney. Then I'm going to whack on a bit of mascara and I'm going to use Benefit Their Real Mascara because she has very defined long lashes in the video and this is the best mascara to get that effect so I'm going to use this. You might want to put about two coats of this on. And also don't forget to do your bottom lashes. Oh look, there we go. I always forget because I'm just too lazy. And then I'm going to use MAC Shadow in Cork for my brows. You see me do this a bajillion times. I'm just going to use a small angled brush. This is a UBU one. I'm just going to define those brows. And then I'm going to put a bit of Rimmel Apocalypse in Big Bang on and this is a gorgeous gorgeous red. You don't want too much product on the applicator because it can be really hard to get a nice defined lip if you've got too much product on the applicator because it's quite difficult to use. And then I'm going to finish off with some Glow All Out by Soap and Glory. This is a highlighter but it has quite a pinky tone to it so I'm not going to use any blush, I'm just going to use a highlighter. Just using a multitask brush by Real Techniques to pop that on the top of the cheekbones. And then voila, you are done. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next week. Bye!